would certainly like it, but this gentleman is still available, and the Nautilus will be locked in here for Griffin. I, I guess that, that actually is... So, yeah, Afrika are definitely getting the better end of this, but a Talon does benefit from this a little bit more than other champions True. normally would. And because Dragon is going to be coming up next, and Keen is going to be absolutely massive. Yeah, that's 610 okay. gold as he picks up the last plate right. that Afrika picked up with a first of their own on the bottom side. Well, Kobe going to come in here. Looks like he was looking for a red buff. Yeah, definitely is, and with so many of these champions on the side of Griffin just being so much weaker at this stage of the game. Oh, the oh, kick man. comes out. Chovy uses the Q to close distance. Requiem comes in, though, and it's going to be enough. That's First Blood going over to the Carpus with some real interactive gameplay. That was truly impressive. What happened there is Tarzan, he looked down at his keyboard, he found... Oh, no, the Wall of Pain, that would be great. Is Oh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's cool. You like that? And then we might have some more action here. On the map is okay. Freaking Freaks have gone for it. Lahans goes golden at exactly the right time, however. And we're not going to find anything. Depth Charge gets a lot of work done as Sword. Trying to dive through here. Oh, man. Viper into the back line. The Requiem's going to come down as Aiming. Not able to time his stopwatch that well. Trophy. The Requiem doesn't get a lot of joy as Trophy off on the backside. Senna not going to fall just yet as Dread's actually able to pick up the kill on the Kaiser. Okay, now it's Yukal's re-engage time. Puts up the wall. The hands one more. Would have done it. He's not going to find it, though. Tarzan able to take down the Gargoyle, but now Griffin are all spread, trying to get out of here as Chovy turns up. Keen doesn't land the Shock Blast, and Yukal the only one. That's what happens. You get bored, it's the lull state, and you're like, right. well, I'm just going to look really smart right now. As lands, he doesn't. He's going to be going down as Aiming picks up that kill. Golden Whoa. is Dread. That's going to keep him alive as Tarzan tagged, and Yukal flashes for it. Heroic Entrance comes down. Yukal's going to go into his Zonyas. And Viper going for the 1v1, not going to find it, but not going fast, but Senen can tank this one for days. Sword not going to be able to help steal this because Dread is in that pit, has the smite, and that's a free Baron going over to the Afrika Freaks. Just, I don't know, it's pretty obvious that he's a, a chicken gargoyle. As our Dread, it's pretty obvious that he's getting uh, encaptured by Griffin, easily able to pick that one up. Not entirely sure what the Lee Sin was doing in a side lane. Well... Keen is keen on getting this top tier 2 turret. I don't think that Sword should be able to stop him from eventually getting it. Yeah, Keen's Although, got a lot of items now as well. Griffin with the real victory here. Oh, here we go, yeah. yeah. But this is actually a Cloud Drake, though. Second. Yeah, so it's the second one, so real Cloud Drake. Cloud Drake. Before we went into yeah. that Baron fight. Of course, as you can see already, about a 2.5k Baron power play. Only extended as that outer turret falls down. And Atrox able to pick up the turret. They're in top. They're using the Ezreal Teleport. They want to raise this bottom tier 2 turret as well. That'll extend the gold lead yeah. to almost 5,000 gold, but not quite. They should be able to reward themselves here with a blue buff, though. Teleport oh, coming a, in deep. That is a really oh, deep man. teleport. That's from a Leroy. Sword. Yeah, he goes over. Here it comes. The ward as well. So, Afrika Freaks, they know what's going on here. True Shot Barrage. So much damage, and the kickback gets Sword out of this battle until they want to take him down. He's in a four versus one scenario. Yukal also having to deal with a one versus three, but the Afrika Freaks, they just what? switched it on before Griffin even had time to. And uh, now Keen has found Tarzan, he's found Chovy, he's found Viper. And you thought that one versus three is generally a bad thing. That is going to be a Requiem utilized and uh, mostly out of tilt by the looks of things from Tarzan. I, I think that whole fight was out of tilt. That was the most Leroy Jenkins, even though Talia was in lethal range. She had Zanyas. Well, Chovy is going to have to dance over some of these walls. The rake comes down, but the Weaver's Wall is going to stop anything from happening. Well, Tarzan's on a different patch, too. He's going for the Rabadon's death cap with the needlessly large rod and yeah. the blasting one. Then, yeah, that I'll do you one better. Patch. Hold on, Alex. Do getting that siege working. Do have Keen here, so the shock blast needs to be respected. That tower what? just melted, and now Lahens 
Not a lot of opportunities for him. Aftershock is going to go down. Keen gets that last auto attack. Chobi finds his way into the back line though. Viper, very, very low. World Ender doesn't get the reset. And the Afrika Freaks have demolished this team fight. And that should be the game. Afrika coming out of the gate so strong. Their match against Jin Air was awful. But this one was beautiful. They picked all their comfort picks. They had a composition that didn't look like it was scaling, but they got the advantages yeah. that they needed, and they destroyed the Nexus. Congratulations, Afrika Freaks. One of their first really good victories that we've seen in the last couple of weeks.